Yes. So last night there was a uh, <laughs> there was a pretty big fight happening. Yeah. First of all, just uh, say that I did get the pay pay per view, so I was able to watch it through a Norwegian site. Um, yeah. Uh, Tyson Fury versus Gillian White, yeah. Well, you know, f first of all, White was not as, uh, I mean, he didn't do much. <laughs> Obviously, he didn't put up uh, uh, as much fight as I had expected, but, uh, you know, I guess we all have made the mistake of giving him a little bit too much credit, it seems. You know, I always thought before that he was an overachiever, and now my suspicions are confirmed. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the reason why he was knocked out by Povetkin in the first place is that he is simply not that good. He is just a slow guy who can get nailed with a punch like that. Not you know, not too hard, it's not too hard for a real good fighter, an elite level fighter to do that, who has enough power, of course. <laughs> um, Tyson Fury really dominated every round, really, in such a manner, I mean, he's just clearly best at white, there's nothing else to say, really, so, uh, yeah, that punch she knocked him out with was really perfect, perfectly set up. And hit him right here on the jaw, where it's really sensitive to be hit, <laughs> of course. I'm kind of tired today, that's why I kind of look weird. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Tyson Fury. I hope this is not his last fight, but even if it turns out to be, you know, he's still giving us enough uh, joy with his performances in the last few years, yeah, of course. And I mean, nobody could have expected such a comeback from him, you know, to come back after almost three years and uh, just... <laughs> You know, beat a guy like the reigning knockout king, like Deontay Wilder. That, well, like he did, he actually beat him three times, of course. But first time it was a bullshit draw, you know, of course. And, uh, um, second time, of course, it was just a blowout. Wilder was not in the fight at all, almost. <laughs> And uh, third time there was a much more of a fight, yeah, going on, but still Fury showed that he is definitely the better guy, of the, the better fighter, and he knocked him out again, of course. And now it's White, same thing, but you know, I guess there is a reason why White didn't get a title, title shot sooner, he simply did not deserve it, like, come on, who, who did he really beat? Joseph Parker, even that was a question with, I actually had a draw, so, <laughs> and uh, Parker was not in the best shape either, obviously, and uh, so, Oscar Rivas, also, he, White didn't really look good in that fight, even though he won, he, it was a very close fight, he got dropped, he got, he took some beating also there, and, uh, against a smaller man who was pretty much an unknown back then <laughs> he's since shown to be yeah rather quality fire but still not like you know a really big name like a really elite level fire so as i said you know uh dillian white is simply all he has is he's a one-trick pony pretty much he's got a big punch he's a strong guy you know, big build and all that, powerfully built. He's very dirty, that's what I never liked about him. And uh, 
Now I hope he retires. He is he's the one that should really retire, not Tyson Fury. We should have Tyson Fury fight Usyk or Joshua. I don't know that those two, and then he can retire knowing that he beat. Of course, and especially if he fights both of them, he beats them. <laughs> of course, there is no <laughs> nothing to continue fighting for for Fury, but uh, I feel if he, <laughs> if he really retires now, he retires on unfinished business, so he should at least fight Joshua, which he was supposed to, of course, last year, until Wilder, <laughs> you know, he just uh, sabotaged that, that fight was really bad of him. Really, really not not fair, but that's the way it went. So, the, I don't, I don't think he will say no to a fight with uh, Joshua because uh, he knows that it will really cement his reputation, his legacy. If he wins, of course, and I believe he will win if he fights Joshua now. In this year, he will win definitely. Because Joshua has proven to be overrated, definitely. You know, while he still has certain, uh, give me two at the moment. While he still has certain tools, you know, the power, he's a big guy, he can do some certain things like jab and you know, box a little bit, but he's still not <laughs> a really, really complete fighter like Fury, you know. So, uh, yeah, I mean, either way, <laughs> I hope Fury will at least have one more fight with either Joshua or Usyk, or as you call him, Usyk. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that was pretty much all, you know, you had the undercard was pretty forgettable. I, I like that Nick Ball versus Isaac Ball fight, it was pretty good. I like Nick Ball, you know, the way he fights really aggressive, he's fast, he can punch you pretty well, and uh, yeah, <laughs> a really tiny featherweight, but still very aggressive, and he's definitely got, you know, the skills. So that was pretty much all I had for now, alright, see you, bye bye.